at Care Patreon, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any feedback on how we can improve our videos and platform, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Eating disorders are complex mental health conditions categorized by unhealthy, obsessive behaviors related to food, eating, and body image. These mental disorders go beyond dieting or a desire to be fit. They are serious conditions that can have life-threatening consequences if not addressed. At their core, eating disorders involve a distorted perception of body weight and shape, leading to dangerous eating behaviors. These can range from severe restriction of food intake or excessive eating, often accompanied by feelings of shame or guilt. Eating disorders come in various forms, each with unique characteristics and challenges. Understanding these types can help recognize and address these disorders effectively. Anorexia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa is categorized by an intense fear of gaining weight and a distorted body image. Bulimia nervosa. Bulimia involves cycles of binge eating followed by various purging behaviors. Binge eating disorder. Binge eating disorder is the most common eating disorder in the United States. It's categorized by regular episodes of eating large quantities of food, but without the subsequent purging seen in bulimia. Other specified feeding or eating disorders. OSFED is a category for eating disorders that don't meet the exact criteria for anorexia, bulimia, or binge eating disorder, but still causes significant distress and impairment. Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder Unlike other eating disorders, ARFID isn't necessarily associated with concerns about weight or body shape. Instead, it's characterized by a failure to meet nutritional and or energy needs, leading to either weight gain or loss, nutritional deficiency, dependence on supplements, or impaired psychosocial functioning. Here are some eating disorder treatments you can incorporate into your practice to help improve your patient's condition. Nutritional counseling. Nutritional counseling is a cornerstone in treating eating disorders. It involves working with dietitians to develop healthy eating habits, understand dietary needs, and establish a balanced relationship with food. Cognitive behavioral therapy. CBT is widely used as a psychological treatment for eating disorders. It helps individuals identify and change negative thought patterns and behaviors related to their eating disorder, fostering a healthier mindset. Dialectical behavior therapy. DBT is effective, especially for those struggling with emotional regulation. It teaches skills for managing stress, regulating emotions, and improving relationships. Family-based therapy. This is particularly efficient for adolescents with eating disorders. This involves family members in the treatment process and it empowers families to support their loved one's recovery and address family dynamics that may affect the eating disorder. To learn more about eating disorders, go to our Care Patreon website or click on the link in the description. We have a range of guides and articles to help you learn more about different therapy techniques to incorporate into your practice. Care Patreon is a healthcare platform designed for you. Signing up is free, just click on the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this.